now it's that time of month again, although actually it's like three days late. We are the 3rd of March today and I'm so sorry that I haven't managed to get my February favourite video up yet. Um, I am trying to do this every month at the end of every month, but February is such a short month. It's just disappeared. So for this month I have five favourites. Let's just get straight into them. Okay, so first of my favourites is these two, slightly wet, shampoo and conditioner. They are L'Oreal Paris Alvive Extraordinary Clay Rebalancing Shampoo and the conditioner for it as well. Basically, they're silicone free, which is really, really good. Everybody's into this, um, I don't know about everybody, but a lot of people are into this, um, trying not to use too many chemicals on the hair. So with sulfates, I mean, a lot of sulfates are contained in a lot of shampoos. They tend to be quite strong and obviously sulfates just strip your hair of all the oils and then the silicones that you kind of replace them with, just coat your hair to make it look healthy but it's not actually healthy but anyway it says it's silicone free which is kind of good because it stops your hair from building up if you use a lot of silicones on your hair it tends to get quite like built up and feel quite heavy and it's hard to wash out and then you've got to use stronger sulfate shampoos to wash it out so it's just a vicious circle really so i quite like that these are silicone free um especially because i do wash my hair quite often um so it can build up quite quickly there is actually another product to go with these that I haven't bought. It's like a pre-shampoo treatment, like a thick clay stuff. That's why they're called clay, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. I may try it in the future, but I quite like using these at the moment, so I don't really need to give that a go just yet. So if you're looking for a new shampoo and conditioner, these two are great. I have literally tried all shampoos on the market. My cupboards are basically like super drug. Next up, we have going to talk about my Jules hat. Oh, I was looking for, like I've never thought I suited hats ever, like most years, but this year, and last year, did I buy my first one last year? I've got a navy one as well. The thing about these is you can pull off the, oh, what do you call it? The little bobbly bit on the top and you can swap this out for a different one because on the Jules site you can actually buy different colours of these. This one actually didn't come with this colour, it came with a pink one, but I preferred this one that came with my navy blue one, so I've swapped them around. Unfortunately, with my navy one at the moment, the little, if you have a look there, that little popper thing, it's only attached by like four bits of thread. And just because I've had it for ages, I think, it's two of the threads have snapped, so it's kind of like hanging off. I'd been wearing it one day and then I noticed when I got home, my bobble was like, hanging down so I just need to re-sew it back on really which should be simple but I just haven't gotten around to it yet so yeah they're really handy you can swap them around if you want a different colour but yeah I tend to stick these two together for now and I've just been absolutely loving this grey one and um, things that I like about it I love this little Jules logo there and I really like that inside the bit that goes around your forehead is like a nice fleece material thing is about other hats um it tends to be that material all the way down and when you take your hat off you tend to have like the rib ribbing detail on your forehead. I don't know whether that happens to everyone but that happens to me so I really liked these that yeah they kind of protect that from happening across your forehead when you take your hat off because I've been wearing this hat non-stop this winter. It's been so cold I just I can't remember what life is like without a hat. They're a little bit more expensive than cheaper hats obviously but I recommend it it's very nice I think now I'm going to talk about this game always I'm, I'm <laughs> this isn't going to happen but I'm going to try and include a game in each of my favorite videos but it depends whether how quickly I complete games that's the postman thank you cheers it's all spam as well, I can just see it. Anyway, um, yeah, so it's probably not going to happen, but it's managing to happen in this video. So this is my favorite game of this month, and it is World of Final Fantasy for the PS4. If you don't already know, which is surprising because my YouTube name is Miss Moogle, which is a reference to Final Fantasy games. So yeah, I'm a bit of a Final Fantasy fan. So Jim got me this for my birthday. Um, 
and I hadn't ever heard of it really because it's kind of like a spin-off from the main Final Fantasy games. So this one's called World of Final Fantasy and I think it's a mix between Pokemon and Final Fantasy because you've got to collect all these things called mirages and you, the, the way you do it is basically like catching Pokemon. So, but then it's got the fights um, more similar to Final Fantasy and there's loads of references as well. I've come across so many references to Final Fantasy VII at the moment, it just makes me so happy. Um, so yeah, that's brilliant. If you like Final Fantasy, give this game a go. It's nice and chilled and the graphics are amazing and it's just a nice fun game. I don't know how long it's going to take me to complete, but I'll give it my best shot to do it as soon as possible and then we'll play another game in March. But as I say, we're already three days into March, so I'm not sure whether that's possible. But yeah, if you're looking for a new game to play, give this one a go. My fourth favourite item is this t-shirt here. Okay, so it's it's just a gym t-shirt. It's from Caramore Run section and I got it in a size, didn't I get it in a 10? I got it in a size 10, which is surprising. The softness of it is incredible. So I really, really wanted it and the dark gray color and just, it just looked beautiful. So I was like, I need this for the gym, but they didn't have my size, which is usually size 12 I go for. Like I do fit some size 10s. I've even got some size eight clothing that fits me, but especially for the gym, you kind of want something that's, you can, you're going to feel most comfortable in, but I wanted it to be loose, but not too loose. Anyway, they didn't have my size 12. So I looked at this 10 and I thought, it might fit me anyway so I bought it got it home fits me perfectly so I absolutely love it so yeah if you're going to buy it and you vary in sizes go for your smaller size because it actually um, will fit you perfectly oh, it's just so soft and this has just been washed and it still feels like perfect I'm hoping this will last me a long time think about the gym is I thought when I started I wasn't going to buy any new gym clothes because maybe I'll do it when I've lost a bit of weight and does it really matter what I look like in the gym but it actually does like it makes you feel I wore my old ones for like one gym session and then I was like I'm buying new things I don't feel good it just makes you feel better automatically if you're wearing something that you actually feel you look okay in and yeah it's not that I'm going yeah you don't need to look good for other people it's literally just for yourself um so yeah I bought myself like two sets of gym clothes because I am going to the gym lots more now it's not my it's not been my new year's resolution because we started me and my friends started um the beginning of february so i have been i have been to the gym about two years ago for a while but i mostly went on my own and with a friend but i didn't really take it that seriously just didn't take it seriously enough and i only ever all my life have done cardio exercises so i've never used weights my friend Hannah this time round is teaching me to use all the weights and it feels amazing. Like I just, yeah, if you've never tried doing weights and you don't, see I'm not like a big like, oh the gym, I'm going to the gym. Um, it's leg day. <laughs> I never thought I'd enjoy the gym, but it really is making me feel better mentally, physically. And just when you're doing weights and you can just like feel like I've, never, I've always been weak. I've never felt like strong, but it's amazing when you can actually feel like your muscles ache, it's like a good ache. The first time you go, well for the, the entire weekend, the first time I went, I was in agony, it was awful. But once you've pushed past that first hurdle, it does feel good, it begin, becomes to feel a good ache. So my favorite, yeah, was just going to be the gym. That is my favorite thing of the month because I've been obsessed with it this month. And hopefully that obsession will continue, <laughs> healthy obsession will continue. But then I realized that I'd also bought this t-shirt this month and this was definitely one of my favorites. Um, so yeah, oh, it smells so nice when it's just been washed. <laughs> my last favorite is a dressing gown. This, uh, I have quite a few dressing gowns actually, but I just really wanted a grey dressing gown because of my grey obsession. I really wanted a grey one. So I found this lovely soft grey one with, it's got like, um, it's like, it looks like tinsel, like a silver sparkly trim all the way down the edge of the collar and on the sleeve section, sleeve, sleeve section as well. Um, just there to give it a little bit of detail, which is really nice. I got it from 
Now I say the name of this shop wrong. I got it from what I call Junlum. I don't know whether you can figure out where that is. Junlum. But it's actually Dunelm Mill. Dunelm, I don't know whether they use the mill anymore, but I think it should be called Junlum. Because that's how it looks. Junlum. But apparently, no, it's Dunelm. So I bought this from Dunelm. I think it was £20 I bought it from that online site. And yeah, because I went shopping for ages trying to look for a grey dressing gown, couldn't find one anywhere, so that's when I started looking online and found this. So yeah, it's the first thing I've ever really bought from June Lim. I think we went once to the actual shop. Um, I can't remember whether I actually bought anything. It is an amazing shop for homeware and things. But yeah, I had no idea, <laughs> just that. I had no idea that they do dressing gowns, but they do. Oh, and it's just so soft. So I have been living in this dressing gown all month and I probably will continue to do so for some time because it's currently snowing. The 3rd of March and it's snowing. Don't know what's going on. Anyway, there we have it. So I'm sorry it's late, but there's my February favourites and it's quite short and sweet, a little bit like the month of February was, just disappeared. Um, so yeah, I will see you in my next favourite video at the end of March, but also in my random little vlogs that'll be in between. So I'll see you, yeah, not at the end of March. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.